I'm grateful beyond any measure of expression that I have or any utterance I'm able to come up with for the blessings that the Lord has so abundantly showered upon me, upon my family, upon the faithful saints in all the world. And I seek most sincerely and devoutly that I may now be guided by the power of the Holy Ghost in bearing testimony of the truth and divinity of this glorious work in which we are all engaged. And as I pray that I may be so guided, I pray that the Spirit so far present in this meeting may continue to rest in your hearts the spirit of light and truth and edification so that you with me will be edified and know of the truths, eternal truths, that are involved. As members of the Church and Kingdom of God on Earth, we enjoy the gifts of the Spirit, those wonders and glories and miracles that a gracious and benevolent God always has bestowed upon his faithful saints. The first of these gifts in the list in our modern revelation is the gift of testimony, the gift of knowing of the truth and divinity of the Word. Uh, the gift of revelation. This gift is elsewhere described as the testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy. Uh, this is my gift. I know this work is true. I have a perfect knowledge that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. And that he was crucified for the sins of the world. I know that Joseph Smith is a prophet of God. And that through his instrumentality, the fullness of the everlasting gospel has been restored again in our day. And I know that this Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the kingdom of God on earth, and that as now constituted with President Harold B. Lee at its head, it is in the line of its duty, its preparing a people for the second coming of the Son of Man, and it has the approval and approbation of the Lord. And I know further that the Lord pours out upon his people the glorious and wondrous gifts that have been enjoyed by the ancient saints, enjoyed by those in every dispensation when he has had a people on earth. He tells us that if we're faithful, we'll know in our mind and in our heart by the power of the Holy Ghost which shall come upon us the glories and wonders of his everlasting gospel. He says, this is the spirit of revelation. I know that there is revelation in the church because I have received revelation. I know that God speaks in this day because he has spoken to me. I rejoice in the privilege and opportunity to serve as a witness of his name, to teach the truths of salvation which he has revealed and then to certify that these things are true, to certify by testimony. This is the Lord's system. Religion comes from God. There's no other source for that which is true, 
or that which will bring joy and peace into the life of people here, or prepare them for eternal glory in the world to come. Man can no more create saving religion than he has power to resurrect himself, and God has given us the truths of salvation in this day. And in this day and in every age and dispensation that there has been, his system has been to reveal to apostles and prophets and righteous men the doctrines and truths of salvation, and then to command them to teach those truths and bear witness to the world that they know that their teachings come from the Lord. His representatives and servants are witnesses of the truth. I rejoice in the privilege of standing as a witness of the truth in this day. I'm grateful that I was privileged to raise my hand to the square and covenant in my mind and in my soul this day as the Spirit of the Lord was poured out upon this great congregation that I would sustain and uphold and take the counsel of these great men whom God has called to preside over his kingdom, the First Presidency of the Church. President Harold B. Lee, a seer, a man filled with the spirit of revelation and of wisdom, who is on intimate terms with that Lord whose we are. President N. Eldon Tanner, the embodiment of integrity and the basic Christian virtues, who loves the Lord and keeps his commandments. President Marion G. Romney, a spiritual giant, a preacher of righteousness, who knows the Lord and teaches his doctrines. President Romney and I are members of the same family. After I had been told of my call, he said to me, I think Granddad Red will be glad to receive us. I said, I'm going to live so I will be worthy to go where he is. He said, so am I. With reference to these brethren who hold the keys of the kingdom of God at this hour, the voice of the Lord to his people is, these are they whom I have chosen as the first presidency of my church. Follow them. And also, on them have I laid the burden of all the churches. And whoso receiveth me, receiveth those, the first presidency, whom I have sent. I desire with all my heart to sustain and uphold the presidency of the Church, to walk in the light of the revelation and truth that comes from their lips as they give the mind and will of the Lord, both to his people and to the honest truth-seekers among all the nations of the earth. I know that the work is true. I think I speak for each one of you. I know I do for myself and my family. When I say that in this solemn assembly, with the outpouring of the Spirit of the Lord that has been present as we have sustained the authorities of the Church and as we have listened to President Lee speak, in harmony with that spirit, all of us desire to rededicate our lives to the principles of truth and righteousness for which these noble leaders named by President Lee have lived and labored 
and died among us. Let this, then, be our covenant. Whatever the past has been, let this, then, be our covenant, that we will walk in all the ordinances of the Lord blameless. Let this be our covenant, that we will keep the commandments of God and be living witnesses of the truth and divinity of this glorious work, which is destined to sweep the earth as with a flood and in due course to cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. O oh God, grant that I and my family and all the faithful members of the House of Israel may walk in truth and light, and having enjoyed the fellowship and kinship and association that's found nowhere else on earth outside the Church, be qualified to enjoy that same spirit and that same fellowship in its eternal fullness in the mansions and realms which are ahead. And this I pray humbly and gratefully in the spirit of testimony and of thanksgiving and in the sacred name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.